I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is the CEO for Scandium Canada, Guy Barossa. Guy, it is fabulous to see you again. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Now, let's talk about these uh, incredibly exciting metallurgical results that have come from the Crater Lake project. Uh, First and foremost, what was the pilot project that you've run? Well, uh, like any um, project, mineral project that you're advancing, specifically or especially in the rare earth and scandium uh, elements, you need to really go and in details and um, in the metallurgical testing. So over time, you go obviously from uh, lab to bench and then a little bit more and uh, you get to a larger amount of uh, metallurgy to be done in continuity so that you can demonstrate quite clearly the uh, efficiency of the uh, the flow sheet that you put together. And uh, we have done a 500 kilo at the SGS in Lakefield, Ontario, renowned uh, laboratory for that purpose. And uh, we were able to test the, the different modifications we had to make to the flow sheet uh, over time since uh, 2021, which was the first year of uh, bench testing. Uh, now, these results are stunning, and I'm not underselling this. Can you talk me through the details of these results? Well, yes, of course. We um, First, we have two steps, the beneficiation or making of the concentrate at the mine site. Uh, we uh, were able to differentiate the metallurgy or the mineralogy of the, the rock, minimizing the number of tons of concentrate, leaving a little bit of scandium on the side if we compare to the preliminary economic assessment, but making it a lot more easy on the hydrometallurgical process to retrieve the scandium from the concentrate. That's very um, <laughs> Awkward, people might think, of having less recovery on the um, making of concentrate. But we reduce by 27,000 tons per year the transport of concentrate with higher scandium content and a very, very efficient hydrometallurgical plant uh, was able to give us more output of scandium oxide than what we had previously in the bench scale. So we we come up with the overall scandium recovery, starting from the ore to the scandium oxide precipitate of 77.3%. It is a very, very good overall result as stated by the independent metallurgists that work with us on this. Scandium recovery at the agromet plant is 93.3%, which is very good. So for the future, what we're gonna try to do is um, increase the recovery at the mine site, the concentrator, so that we can even benefit more from the uh, high recovery percentage we're able to demonstrate on the hydrometallurgical part of the the flu sheet. You realize that transporting 27,000 less tons also means that you are having 27,000 less tons to process in the hydrometallurgical plant. So you see a capex diminution, and you also see a good opex uh, uh, subtraction. It's, uh, well, we're very, very glad with what we've been able. And also, obviously, it's the purity of your finished product. So scandium oxide purity, 99.5%. Uh, this is the first time that we have gone that far into demonstrating the purity of the finished product. 99.5% is uh, way over what is needed to do the aluminum scandium master alloy 2%, which is the finished product that we're aiming at in our preliminary economic assessment. Uh, as I said, stunning high purity results here, which is fantastic. Now, obviously, this metallurgical pilot test work is very important for the Crater Lake project. Uh, but what comes next? What other information can investors look forward to hearing from Scandium Canada? Well, as you already know, we have completed the mineral resource estimate. We just filed, as a matter of fact, on CDAR today, the, uh, the 43101 mineral resource estimate. We uh, are, have announced the results of the metallurgical. 
So that leads us towards uh, starting a pre-feasibility study. We already announced in the past that uh, we changed the logistic that is reflected in the preliminary economic assessment, which was to transport down to seven islands or Setil by, by rail, all of the concentrate. We changed the location, decided to change the location and be closer to the mine site uh, of the hydrometallurgical plant. So we're currently um, working with the Newfoundland and Labrador uh, government to um, secure a patch of land near a railway and provincial road. So that's the, the last part that is missing to um, go ahead with the pre-feasibility study. Obviously, you need to, to have all of the details to, to proceed. But uh, that's on the mining side. As we already have discussed in the past, we already, and we also have developed in parallel, aluminum scandium alloys amenable to 3D printing. We have a specific division that is taking care of pre-commercialization effort on uh, these products. So that's definitely, I believe, going to be a game changer for our company and the overall aluminum scandium alloys uh, market. So that's uh, something that we're moving quite nicely, talking with industrial um, potential partners that are interested to, to confirm that it meets their um, mechanical properties and that they're ready to uh, jump in the wagon. So uh, two things in parallel, the pre-feasibility and the um, development or commercialization of the aluminum scandium alloys that we developed and for which we already have filed a patent. Uh, listen, Guy, there is an awful lot happening behind the scenes here at Scandium Canada and congratulations on these awesome results for the metallurgical pilot test work. Uh, thank you so much for being here today and I look forward to hearing more about these uh, movements in the background. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and it's always a pleasure to share our, uh, our results with your audition, auditors. Thank you.